Buck. Looks like buck in the back. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Hey ponies. Oh, who are we taking? Probably Dirk and Trump. Come here, Trump. Watch Buck, is he okay? Here, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Come here, man. Oh, Bucko, he's fine. He's just slow. Hey, Ranger. How are you, lady? Hey, Buck. Oh man. Looks a little skinny. We'll have to set her out soon now that there's snow. Hey, right. move. Just, oh. Huh? Get some cows. How'd you hear about the cows, Dad? Where'd they come from? Um, I heard from the Game and Fish. Was up, must have been checking the snow belt trails or something. And they're not all our cows, but there's a couple of pairs of ours and then another neighbor. So I don't know why we have more cows up there, but there's not much snow yet this year, so they don't really have to come down and. Some people that were helping fix fence could have done a better job, so I think part of the reason they didn't come down is they were getting out of our pasture and getting into an area they weren't familiar with and just been wandering around. So they didn't know how to get. They didn't know how to come, come down home, on their own. So yeah. So I don't know. So they got out and didn't know how to get back down where they usually get when you load them up. Right. And they, they may have gone there and then since there's a stray cows up there too that aren't familiar with the area, they just wander around aimlessly. They have no idea where they're at. So if our cows followed them, you know, they just could be wandering in circles for two months. How come so, we haven't been able to get a good count this year? Well, I don't think we started out with a good count probably is part of the problem. But, you with, know, what a good count of what you turned out? We, Count out. We count them when we turn out and try to get it right. And uh, apparently our turnout count was wrong, so we got a few more. But at least.
least it's more than less. That's why I never count, because you can't trust my count. No, usually we're real close, so I don't know what the deal is this year. Carson can be in charge of counting after this. It'll be my job. And then uh, we will never have any errors. I keep saying it's a good problem, because you keep having cows show up and they're just free cows that you didn't know you had. Yep, that's right. That's a good problem. There you go, Carson. You can count short every spring. <laughs> yeah. and then, every year I heard really. And then in the fall you can be celebrating because you got more cows. <laughs> you've, got, you've got all your problems solved. Yeah. The banker will be really happy. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can make some extra money. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Just count short every spring. Where are we going, Jeff? We're going up uh, Tinton Road about... Tinton Road? 20 miles south of Spearfish. Up, up past Iron Creek? Past Iron Creek, another 10 miles. Is it, is it bladed? Nope. But there's only like three four inches of snow. Oh, it's not too much. The roads are, weren't too bad. Well, we got chains, right? We got chains and we got a shovel. You got me. Sand? No sand. We'll have to dig down to the sand. What if we get stuck? Um, if we get stuck, we're gonna get in trouble. We'll have to call for help. Are we gonna have cell phone service? Uh, you'll have to walk to the top of the hill. That's what he brought you for. <laughs> Still here. That's where you just put the bale last night? Huh? That's where I put the bale. They just didn't move too far. They were happy to have a bale. Yeah. So the mealings are going to cross the road in front of us. What's that? Right? Trump? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's really warm. It's gotta be warm. Get there. Thank you. Yep. I won't put it in, maybe. So in case you guys didn't hear in the pickup, my dad got a call last night about some cows out still in the hills. And this is like two months after we usually get them out of the hills. So it's two pair of ours and one pair of our neighbors. Um, I don't know why they're still up there. None of us really do. Don't know why they're still up here. But yeah, like you heard, our count has been way off. So, but anyway, I really hope these cows aren't too crazy and that they'll cooperate. We can get them out of here. Just cause it is already so late in the year. I mean, it's January 1st. Well, it's New Year's Eve right now. So we're two months late. We gotta get these cows out of here. So when my dad got told they were up here, he came up with a bale of hay and gave it to the cows just to make sure that they stay where they were. And um, we drove up today and they are still in the same spot. So they dropped me off down the road a little ways they're gonna go up ahead and set up some panels and the little alleyway to load the cows up into the trailer um and i'm just down on this end so the cows don't run run away from us 
and get too wild and carried away but it is I don't know I think it was zero degrees so pretty chilly but yeah I hope we can get these things my horse has got icicles on his nostrils We're probably only gonna get one chance to get these cows into our little makeshift corral and if we can't get them in our one chance, we're probably not gonna get them at all. Easy these cows are gonna take off. They're not gonna wanna get back in to our corral. So it's really important that we get them in our first try. If we don't get them, we probably won't get them at all. They're gonna take off. We probably won't see them all winter long and they'll, they'll be up here in the deep snow. So they won't have much feed. So odds are they probably won't make it if they don't have food, they might starve and die. So it's really important that we get them in our first try. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hey. Go on in there. You can do it. Come on, little cabbie. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Here. We gotta get them cows up front so we got crafty. Yeah, right. Go 
going down the hill. <laughs> Well, we got the cows. We weren't sure if we were going to get them there for a minute. Now the trick is going to be to get down the hill in one piece. Just going to put some chains on the tires. Hopefully that'll help. <clears throat> Just on the backs. So we go on the dish. So we go on the dish. Put them on the front. Put them on. Say what? <laughs> I thought you said you were going to put them on the front. <laughs> on the back. Only on the back, on the front when we go on the dip, so I'll put them on the front. Let's see this one. Think we'll make it? I hope so. Yeah. We'll see. Then we'll tell. Yeah. Just doesn't know where she's at. She's kind of dumb. The neighbors? Neighbors call. Oh, she's never been names. around here. <laughs> she's never been here before. <laughs> the neighbors that remain unnamed. <laughs> yeah. But you know who you are. <laughs> So we think the neighbor's cow didn't know where she was and she was kind of the leader and wouldn't lead ours. Is that what you're saying there? Yeah, she would lead ours the wrong way, I think. Yeah. She wanted to go back up where their cows spend the summer. They're hauled in there and then hauled out so they never, they have no idea when they get out of that area where they're at, so. Yeah. Let's see what the temp is. Zero degrees. Warmed up, zero degrees north. All right guys, so we are in the pickup on the way down the hill with the load of cows and the horse. And my uncle's creative juices are flowing. He's got a special ranch limerick he wants to share with you guys. So here are Uncle Gary's Ranch Limerick and Poems, part one. So this poem is from the perspective, perspective of you or of me? You. Okay. About time the old man learned to count, I thought as I got on my mount. Thanks to the hay, now I can say, they're no longer wandering about. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. That was not planned. You didn't rehearse that at all, did you? No. You just came up with that on the spot. I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> this, I'll have this one going. Come on, buddy. We'll just unsaddle him, Gary, and put him in here tonight.
Well, we made it out of the hills safely, got the cows and the horses home, so it feels pretty good to have got these last ones that we didn't even know were up there. But thank you guys for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. See you later.